Okay, we have offensive coordinator Chad Scott. Questions for Coach Scott, Greg? Chad, keys this week. What do you guys have to do well? We got to establish a run early. We got to play with tempo. And we need to be able to take shots downfield and complete them. Well enough this past week in all those phases? We did or? it. We did it. Now, the first half, we did it phenomenally well enough. In the first half, we did. And it worked for us. And it was really good. <clears throat> Thought it caught defense off guard. It was easy for us. It was tough for them. And it created a lot of space to get our guys in space to make some plays. And guys made some plays early on. The third quarter, those those three possessions the defense gave yeah. you. Lacks it, I didn't execute. I mean, really just didn't execute at all. Uh, had opportunities, and we didn't we didn't capitalize on opportunities. You talked about those three things you needed to do this weekend. Really, Garrett provided a lot of that. You yeah, twenty two carries, hundred yards, get mm -hmm. get some big plays to fill. He doesn't seem to have a lot of fear, especially like here's a guy who's hurt for two and a half weeks. Right. He could come back and play hesitantly. There's no hesitance in this guy. How no. how important is that kind of boldness when you're coming back and you're you having to do what you need to do? Well, that's huge. Because you know I mean? he affects the he impacts the other uh, ten guys in the field around him, and when they see him playing the way he plays, and that's why the guys, I, you know, commend him. We did a phenomenal job continuing to fight all the way up until the last play of the game when he threw the touchdown pass to Cole Taylor. So, when he plays with energy and confidence, he plays with it inspires the other guys around him to play, you know, with the same level of confidence. Just got to be able to execute when it when it matters the most. He really just has kind of the, the, that ability for dynamic, you know, just just that dynamic play, whether it's. That, that big run or you know, throwing that ball downfield just mm -hmm. kind of brings that kind of – you also have to talk about explosive plays. He brings right. that explosiveness. He does. He really does. And I mean, he makes it go. Ain't no question. He, he He's the reason why we're in it. You know, he gave us a you know, big chance to go out there and, and win the game. And so, like I said, we just got to keep him going in that regard. Uh, he's obviously a huge spark. And, you know, uh, he affects a lot of people on defense. You know, a lot of the runs that we created, even with the other guys on the field, you know, was created because the eyes were on him with the success he was having. So, like I said, we just got to continue to do that and just got to be able to execute when it matters most. I think it was 61 maybe, uh, 39 pass attempts, 22 carries maybe for Garrett. Mm -hmm. Is that the number you, you think you're going to need to have? Is that maybe too much? Is that right? Is that just what the the game presented itself? That, that's, just, that's just what the game presents itself. You know, it's not a certain number we go in and we say, we want him to get this, we want him to get that. We just want to be out there and go and establish the, establish the run and control the possession of the game. And and then really for him, you know, you know, obviously he had the, the poor decision late, but for him, we want him to be able to see what he needs to see progression-wise. And if it's not there, you know, don't, you know, make a bad decision, you know, roll out and extend the play. And then sometimes what he's doing a good job of uh, that is when he rolls out, he at least keeps his eyes downfield where he's able to find guys. And there's certain times where – he throws the ball where he should run the ball still. He should have a couple more carries if he just, you know, take off and take what's given to him as opposed to throwing the ball downfield. Say right before the end of the first half, it looked like if he'd have taken off, he had a clear touchdown. Absolutely. And, and he did that's two or three times, you know, so he could he could have a couple, couple more, you know, with that. You know, we could play a team down days where they, they drop an eight. You know, some teams, uh, they figure they, they just drop eight and cloud the window and, you know, make it tough for him to throw the ball in tight windows. And they open up a lot of space underneath. And he did a good job checking the ball down a uh, time or two. And, and the other times he took off and ran the ball. We need that. That's, that's good. Extend drives, extend plays. It puts, uh, you know, it's, it's a disadvantage defensively. It's a call they can't create. Occasionally go into a two back set. CJ mm -hmm. often is a lead blocker there. How good of a lead blocker is CJ? Oh, he's a great lead blocker. He does a great job. Uh, he does. And, and those guys been able to see the protection and uh, you know get out and route helps us a lot too. And that's a that's a personnel where both of those guys got got a unique skill set to run and block. So it's not one where you know those guys get in, he gonna run it, or this guy gonna you know go out for a route. So it's a good wrinkle, and it's a way for us to you know find ways to just continue to get the the best players on the field too. Running backs, obviously. What makes R.J. Harvey so hard to tackle, so hard to contain? He got phenomenal balance. He got phenomenal balance. He got phenomenal contact balance. 
and got he has a great vision. He does a great job of setting up his blocks. So those would be three things I would say. He does a great job setting up his blocks. He's got phenomenal contact balance and great vision. Tough tackle. Did you get to say anything to the team at all? You're big on you know, motivational speeches. What do you say to the team this week? What's the mood of the team, especially with Ray's injury as well? Tell just perseverance. You know, we got to be a uh, got to be a persevere this week, and you know, let our we got to let our mind be stronger. Our mind got to be stronger than our feelings. You know, the feeling when we're not where we're supposed to be, when we're not playing, <clears throat> you know, up to our potential is to sometimes, you know, you know, give in, stay in the bed, you know, feel sorry for yourself, and so your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Where you go out and you persevere and have a, a winning mentality, and, and the winners, you know, come out with the mentality that they're. Their, their mind is stronger than their emotions and their feelings and we go out here and get the job done. And, and offensively, you know, I think that guys have that mindset. Like I said, I like the way they finished. We kept fighting. Wish we could have capitalized on the opportunities we had in the third quarter. But go out here and do little things right, let their mind be stronger than their feelings and come out here and get it done. We need to play well again and execute when we're supposed to. Freeland, uh, how much does the offense change? Who has to step up? No, it ain't, it's not going to change. Uh, we get, we need somebody to step up. Hudson, be, uh, he should be fully uh, healthy now. Uh, and he had a phenomenal play uh, last week as well. So he'll be healthy. And obviously Preston Foss has been playing phenomenally well on uh, special teams. And he's performed really well in the past offensively. So we need him to step up. And anyway, Justin Robinson to continue to step up, be consistent for us. And, and then Jarrell Williams has practiced a lot and uh, had a good practice the last couple of weeks. So hopefully he can step up for us. And then we're gonna find different ways to get Cole Taylor ball. That just opens up more opportunity to get Cole the ball. He's he's huge. He was huge in the game the other day. Had a lot more opportunities to get the ball the other day. So it also provides another opportunity for him to get even more touches. Is there a mental challenge? I guess score twenty eight points in the first half, but we're still trailing. I mean, how, how do you kind of prevent that? From Nah, I mean, uh, nah, not really. Can I say this because I, I remember last end of the last season, you know, I, we had a mentality where we just need to get the ball one more time. And I felt like in that game, uh, particularly the first half, man, even really, really throughout the game, that offensively the guys were just, man, just get us the ball one more time. I really felt like they just, you know, we never got to a point where, you know, if the other team scored, the guys were down, and it's like, oh, man, I always felt like they just, just get us the ball one more time. We maintained that attitude. The entire half, so I was I was really proud of the guys because that was an emotional loss for the guys. I felt like you know just being home with families around and you know phenomenal uh, phenomenal showing from the fan base and with the way we strained. I thought we strained really well. I thought we really physically played really tough. It was, you know I thought you know some of the guys the way they prepared for that particular game. It was an emotional loss for them. So I commend them guys for you know continuing to fight. But I feel like they just had the attitude where just giving the ball one more time we go do it. So it's almost as if we ran out of, ran out of time, but. Again, I just told those three drives in the, in the third quarter. I kick. I think a lot of people may say, well, they just want another shot at the defense, but it seemed like they knew they were going to need points against the offense the way you all were going. And I felt like I felt like we really had them in the bind officially, and I felt like they was trying to I – felt, I, felt, I felt like coming in, they didn't see us playing the way we played offensively. Uh, we played really fast. From the first time we played the way we played like that this season. And I feel like they during that particular time, because it really made no sense to kick an onside kick at that particular time. But I feel like they need to steal a drive to keep our offense off the football field. You know, the uh, last couple of weeks, you know, like particularly the week before with the Cincinnati game, you know, we only snapped the ball, I think, 44, I had 44 snaps on offense. And so at that particular time, we, you know, we, you know, had, was getting the ball, you know, quite frequently was moving the chains and, you know, it was tough for them to stop. So I felt like they had to still a drive. And so that was good for our offense to see as well, to see teams try to do things like that to keep us off the football field. Okay, thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you all.